Hi, welcome back to the next part of our tutorial series to build a motorbike. We start again. Today we will make the tank. So let's start. Add mesh cube. Then edit mode, but selection. C for circle selection with background is important scale set bring it down to here and extrude again and scale set down that is the base mesh We want to have a little variation on it, so we give here a loop in, scale set to, and we get there may be some, but before we make their subdivision surface modifier on it, a level 2, and you see we got that. So now we tweak it to his perfection. So we bring that up, that down, that it fits with the reference more. Control R, make loop in to sharpen up the down part. Then we lead a middle loop and two others. So we got that. That is the base mesh, we bring them in front. We rotate X 90 degrees. So that is the base, and when you look at them, that is bended here at the top and at the middle part too. So what we do here is we go here deeper and rotate it then we go there deeper and then we look again we grab it bring it to position there we have the original one and what we see is that must be much longer than the other one so we must correct that all so we scale it down to the size where we see all and the size fits with the original so that means that part here must be near there that here must be rotated now we must look that we get this angle there that means we must go here up and here's the next point we must control so we get in there the loop and bring them up to the reference point then we should make it in one line so bring them again up a little so we have that but here it must go more down so we have to go here more down and there maybe we must have here breaking point that normally should be there where the direction changes so we have that should be a little old bit more out there so make it more like 
that. Then we must go here up to. So we have that now. That is nearly that what we want. But we have to go here near. We have to go here all in all up. We have to give a little more here and there. So that is the base mesh from the side. So we have that shape of this tank. But that isn't all. The top part must be more smaller than the rest of it. That means we mark that all with C, circle selection. And then we scale it all in all down. So we got that. Then the ends of them never at the same height as the middle point. So we take a line from here to there and bring them down. Same on the other side. From there to there, down. Try to bring it on the each high, on the same high. And here we need to go also a little bit deeper but only a little good here too so we have more that style at first we'll make a copy of that shift D that isn't finished. Uh, we see here it must be higher before it goes there. So that means this uh, size is all in all not long enough and the wrong high here. So that means we must go with this part more to there and more down and more there here oh we have to do it with background selection so again this one there and there this one more up and this little up so that you get every time straight lines. That is the important thing on that. Without that, that looks not real. So that is more that. That all in all must be longer and sharper. So we need here a second loop where we can control the hardness better. So bring it there. So now we have that here that comes down a little bit near but not complete so we have to go here up a little here up a little okay so all in all that, that is to fat there so we scale in the Y. That is too round. So we must sharp that up. So we get this plate here and sharpen that up. Uh, that we do in the control panel here. There we can say uh, 
mean grease and with them we can sharpen so you see what happens there when I use that in the mode that gets flatter and that gives this effect so all in all that is too too high here so that means we need here this whole space that here too and have to scale them in the Y scale Y so that is nearly this tank all that I see is here is not round enough that comes because we make it with the crease too hard so we go here back and give them a little less so from there to there and there to there that is the place we increase a little down too good better is I think when we get a second loop and here we disable the mean grease so we can round up there and the mean grease goes for the other points that is better so we have to disable it for this edges too mean grease zero and this maybe should more till the side so we have a more the round effect from the bevel uh, from the modifier so that here can go up that too okay that is what we want we must scale that all surely later uh, we make here on um, loop to sharpen that up uh, later we must all tweak again because there are so many fixtures at the end of that that we have to make uh, that's normally so here we have a cut in so that means when we take here this line and simply bring them down we get automatically scale set zero here in hard action when we get their second loop in and you see we get here this hard edge good uh, that is okay here we have the leaning into that is also good for the moment I think we can let that we will see later what we tweak again but we have made that thing shift D place it there again and we look again what we got there all in all that fits good that here you don't see later that comes all under uh, the rest of the motorbike surely you can make that here going up and rotate that that it looks so before but it's not needed good this second loop here was too much I think so we get them back X of edges so he rounds up that down there more yeah, I think it's on a good way and for the moment we let it like it is now good
that means we can take that by the side grabbing positioning there scale a little up good then we get the rest here and move them to the second layer good fire safe so now comes some other horror thing that is this one here that's the down part with the backlight I don't know really how I start that but I try to that is it from the top and that is here and then it goes downward so I try to build such like that here so I add mesh a plane this time rotate x 90 degrees scale to this size and then we need a middle part and this edges so we go edit mode make a middle line and then we get this whole line make it longer and scale set so we have that then we get that out and now we bevel this edges here so I try to shift D make a copy of that edit mode mark all extrude bring it down now we get this bevel that one that and the down part control B move and roll that is the start point and it surely must every time uh, smaller at the top that on the bottom so control R we make a loop in there and the top faces we make smaller but don't forget this here good we have that we scale them down scale X to make it not too hard oh, that is too hard so scale up more that is near too good scale X a little that is good and the point is that here is every time deeper than that one so we take here the top words with background selection that one here and bring them down and rotate them a little so rotate that it gets one line there okay that is okay now we smooth that all and we got that uh, we don't need here the front faces to be smoothed so we can mark them and say they should be flat so you be flat that is our base structure there and you see it's a little bit shorter and a little bit bigger but it's from this view when you look from the other side you will see that isn't so good shift D make a copy of the last one that is that one and now we see what should happen that should happen so we rotate X minus 90 degrees the rotate set 180 degrees good that is our starting point there and now we must go down there so we will try that I don't know what happens but we will see that so we take this whole line here computer lags a little so I'm 
must wait. Then we look what we can do there. Okay, now we get this whole line and that whole line with this faces there too. Okay, look from front. We extrude it and bring it back there to maybe this point there. Search like that. And that point must be larger in the Y. So we scale Y and bring them more to that side, but then we see that isn't correct. So we better lean that all. That means we go from here and rotate them like that. No, that's also bad. Good. We take the down part scale Y. That is that. Then from there it goes down and gets brighter. So that means we extrude again, bring down, go Search like that, and it goes brighter there. So, scale Y again. So, and then it goes down to. So, we extrude, bring them down to, get a little back, and scale Y. Good. That is the base that we have now. Sure, that, that looks awful. Um, we go in there, mark all, and recalculate. So we have that very bad shading there. And you see from the start point that is too fat. So that here must be smaller, as small as this one. So that means we take that here all and scale Y. So we get more that style here. That is more like that. And I think all in all that will be a line. So we get that here back and that here back. Never seen that machine in real, but I think that is the way they modeled it. So, that is good for this point. Uh, I make a copy of that. Shift D. File save for the first. And then it goes here to the other red part there down to when you see it there goes here and then completely there you see it there too it goes there and then down there good so that means we need a straight line here to go other way and that means we must take here this hole back and scale x zero so we have that from that point we can extrude and bring it down to so we got that here and that should be more scaled in the y and that's the point good we have that, shift D, make a copy, and now we have to tweak that here, 
more to fit with the rest. So we get here down to why we have there four lines. Oh, okay. That is because it is rounded. That makes it not easier. But we bring them down. And the last one we should simply rotate. So I go back where this straight. So we take simply that one and rotate them and bring them down. So we add that. Okay. Then we can bring that more up maybe. Oh, that was the wrong one. So we take that here and bring that up that we come to a lean that makes a complete straight line down. Good. Um, that part here should be more like that. There comes the seat over it. So we have that part here. That is for the start not wrong. So we take that, that, that and that and move that to the second layer so we only have that left and when we look that is nearly that what we want not complete but nearly so we can take here this words and bring them more together but the style is right yeah, maybe it must be shorter and more lean to one or the other side or more uh, like that. We will see that all later when the bike is completed or nearly too completed. Good, we bring it to the side, grab and bring it to the side. File, save. Good. Done. Very complicated things. Here you see it from the back, and it, that is what we built. And later you will not see so much from it. So from this, that point, it's not so important. Good, we can make there a point coming out if we want later. That's okay. So, next one we try is this mystery thing there. Add mesh plane, rotate x90, scale down. So here we start again, edit mode and bring points to position. There, there, and there. We ever go middle roundness start of the roundness, top of the roundness and so on and that makes the form. So we extrude downward, we go here to the top, bring it here till the back, then we extrude again, bring it there and there. I think that is a rounded end, so we extrude here, bring it to the start of the roundness, and here to the end of the roundness, and then we extrude that again, and place it on near before end, that is somewhere like there. Then we go here at the top, up, extrude, bring it here at the changing point, and here at the top of the roundness. Then we extrude again and bring it to the next part where it changed. Yes, there, and grab there. That is the base mesh for that.
thing there and the rest makes the modifier. So we make a copy, shift D. Well, ah, they are in this picture so we must bring them in front. Good. Now we get here the whole object and extrude it to the Y to give them a thickness. Then we give them here the subdivision surface on it, the level 2, and we get that banana there. But we want to have it a little bit sharper at some parts, so we have to sharpen up that thing. That means at first we look from the top and get their loops in to sharpen up this edges there okay so we have only a little round stuff there and the rest is out of one good then this here is much too round so we get their loop in to sharpen up that as this point then it only should be here rounded here that should be straighter so we give here another loop in so we can control here how hard that rounds up there and from which start point it rounds up yeah then we go straight down and here that is not completely round and here that should more come out so we get in here and there then we can get with these points here and bring them a little bit more down so we get more this outcoming effect there good uh, here that isn't real but it is round enough I think can go here a little bit more up maybe so that we make it short around and this one here more like that okay that is it that here we can cut out later and that here is a new object that we built. That here is only the base structure for that. And here comes this uh, other things in later. So we can scale that here down because that pipe comes in there later. And then it should have the same size. Good. Uh, we done that. So we move that here to the second layer and build now this thing here. So we start again at mesh cube, scale down. So, uh, with background selection, circle selection, bring there the start point at the top of the roundness. The back point is then there on the top of the roundness. And here we go till the sides that it fits with the reference. So, next changing point is here. So, we get them both extrude bring down get till the point here we can go deeper so we extrude again the extrude come there scale down that must nearly that here we extrude again till that point and that point here 
that is the base structure of that here so we bring that to the side we get that here and give them a subdivision surface level 2 look from top edit mode sharp map these parts by inserting a loop there and you see there is a middle part that is smaller than the down part there so that means we must take the whole front and make them smaller so that means this line the front face should be scaled down scale set a little that we get the same distance from each side maybe it come a little bit more harder so we get here more out we give a smooth on it and we want to have this edges being much harder so we extrude scale it again then we have that hard edge there and the rest is uh, textures and bumps and normal maps that we later bump on it so that comes over them later so it comes there but it's too big all in all so scale y and make it a thin thing and place it there and now you see what we have to uh, go more to reference that is that point it must be more crap there and this point we must grab more there so that leans more up with that should be nearly similar so that means here we must go more with the leaning there such like that yeah that nearly comes through that and for this point is good with the rest of these textures later that will look awesome good um yes we can cut, cut out um these things now so we fire save that make a copy of both shift d m to move to the second layer before we can cut in here some we have to apply the subdivision surface on both and now we need here the reference cutout so we add mesh uh, cylinder rotate x 90 degrees scale down grab it bring it to position that should be that point that we want to cut out so we give them the other reddish color that was material something think that one and then we place it where we want to have it bring it in front we cut not completely through it only in the half so we must look from the front exactly and look this distance can be that one and we see it goes out there so that means our circle uh, our cylinder needs work we only take this here back x delete words then we get this edge here and extrude them till that point 
and get this edge extrude to that point so we have more this opening effect there but I think here we can start before so we go in there and get this here away and take this last edge here and extrude that so we have more that effect that is good now we have to close that all so we mark them both and F to close we mark the back line F to close the front line F to close we have an object you see that it isn't long enough in that direction so we have to take here this face and the axes are wrong to get them straight out there so we take here normal axis and now it fits extrude and bring it to the normal we go back to global axis now we have to apply that shape that we have now so object apply rotation scale this object also must be applied rotation scale we set the origin to geometry same here now the name of that one is cylinder 28 and this one we get a modifier on that's the boolean and we want to have the cylin cylinder point 028 that is it but not insert we need difference and apply that now we have here the cutout that was the cutout for this thing we need here and cut out there and cut out and there and cut out for that thing here um, I think we make only this tree here that we make with a bump or a normal map later so that was it for today I moved that away we must do there some on this thing don't forget it hope I don't forget it so um, move that to the second layer save this whole thing and see you in the next tutorial bye